Hey, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use a template to create multicolor block patterns. The template I will be demonstrating today is available for purchase. It's called the Black Pattern Maker. It is a template that is specifically designed for Photoshop, where you can quickly create multicolor patterns uh, for one object. And I will leave a link to it in the description below. After you have downloaded your files, go ahead and navigate to uh, the folder where you have them saved. We are going to go ahead and open our template here. So just double clicking on the file here. And so here is our uh, block pattern maker template. Uh, before we jump into this template, let's just go ahead and open our other file. So I'm going to just um, move back over into my file here. And then here we see one a title block pattern template for digital paper. We'll go ahead and open that one as well. That way we have both of our files open. So we'll navigate back to our first one here. So this is your uh, template. And then uh, there is one more thing we need to uh, bring in to Photoshop. And this is a action that we're going to use with this template. So. You want to make sure your actions panel is open. If it is not, you'll go to window and select actions here. Uh, from here, you're going to uh, hit the menu icon and then go ahead and click on load action. Navigate to your folder and then you are going to click on the file that has the .atn extension for actions. And then we'll just go ahead and click to open that. And then it will be loaded in to your um, action panel here. So I'm just going to bring uh, the folder open there. And there are two actions here. One is to find one pattern. And then another one says to find 42 patterns uh, with the block designation here to work with this template. Uh, to orient you to uh, the template here, so here in the layers panel, we have our object. This template is designed to create multicolor block patterns using one object. So let's go ahead and double click into our smart object here. So using this circle and this template, these are the patterns that were created from that a template. So let's go ahead and try it with a different object. We'll jump back into our object um, window here. So I'm just going to um, turn off the visibility of that layer. We'll just create a new layer. I'm going to hit D on the keyboard just to get my default colors. And then let's, um, using the shape tool, we'll select a custom shape. And then I am going to use this heart shape here. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag out a heart here and then let's go ahead and center it so to do that i'm going to go the marquee tool which is m on the keyboard i'm going to select everything command or control a using the move tool which is v on the keyboard we're just going to go ahead and align it center both vertically and horizontally there and then i'm just going to uh, deselect those pixels so command or control d to deselect and we have our heart in the center of our document here. So let's go ahead and save this smart object. So I'm going to go Command or Control S to save it. And then I'm going to go Command or Control W to close out of that smart object. We'll jump back into our template here. And as you can see on all of the artboards, the circle, our original circle, has been updated to reflect our new shape, which is the heart. And so the next step is to use our actions. We'll pull up our action panel here. And under your action set, you're looking for the define 42 patterns for block. And then you can just go ahead and click on play. And what this action will do is it will automatically save a pattern swatch for each of these different artboards. So we can see here in my patterns panel that the uh, different patterns have shown up here. If you do not see your patterns panel, go ahead and select windows and select patterns from the menu there. So let's go ahead and jump back over into our template. So here in our template, we can see how our patterns look. So let's go ahead and scroll up here to the start of our pattern here, which we are looking for this one. Uh, for this first artboard, 
Clicking on this pattern layer will select our new pattern here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in, Command or Control minus key, uh, just so we can see it a little bit better. Here we have our um, repeating heart in a block style pattern. Uh, with this pattern fill layer, you can always double click and you can uh, choose to scale it down if you'd like. Um, you also have the option uh, to move it around um, if you want it to be oriented differently. Um, but in this case, we're going to leave it at its original orientation. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click on OK. And then uh, with the color fill layer, you could always select a different color if you want to uh, see how it looks in a different color. So we have our first pattern, which is just our solid block repeat. Um, coming to the next one, this is a, um, a two-tone style pattern in a black style. So in this case, you only need a one color, but it does give this two-color, two-tone effect. And so we have that for our uh, dot style, but we also have it for um, horizontally by a row. And then we also have it for um, vertically here. So those are our one color style patterns here. And then um, coming to this next one, we'll test out some of our two color patterns. So selecting uh, the next pattern layer here. Uh, this is one of those benefits of using this document and making multicolor patterns here. In this case, we had a dot style pattern and we added a heart style pattern. So you can take um, multiple, you can use this uh, template for multiple shapes and then you can combine them into uh, patterns like this. Uh, but we'll select our heart here so we can get our two color heart um, with the dot style. And then we also have it for the horizontal repeat as well as the vertical repeat here. So those are our two color pattern variations uh, using this object. And then we jump into our three color pattern variation. So we will just select those patterns here and you can see that we have our horizontal repeat as well as our, we'll select our vertical repeat here to show off our vertical repeat. And then with the three color and four color, we also have variations for a diagonal stripe here. So we have it uh, going down and then we have the um, opposite where our diagonal is going up. Jumping into uh, the next pattern here, this is a four color pattern where you can select the uh, different four colors here to create this repeating pattern. And what you'll notice that some of the um, patterns are at a little bit different scale um, depending on um, whether it has uh, three colors or four colors um, for it. Um, just to make a note of that, that some of them are a little bit of a different scale uh, depending on how I had to uh, make the pattern for that one. So we'll jump into the next one and then we also have the horizontal uh, stripe variation for the four colors as well as the vertical stripe variation. And then uh, finally we get into our diagonal stripes. We'll go ahead and select all these different pattern layers here. We have it for uh, the diagonal going down. And then finally we have it for the diagonal going up. Selecting that layer there, selecting our layer. So I will zoom out here. So this is, we so we have 16 different uh, color pattern variations from our one object and we um, use our template to create those patterns quickly and then um, I just give you this uh, template as a quick way to test them if you want uh, to see how they are and then you can easily change uh, the color of the pattern um, for your template here.
So if you um, are testing it, your patterns and you're testing different color swatches and you want to save a predict and you want to save a particular color um, variation version that you did. So let's say we want to save this as its own little pattern. Using the actions, I have this to find one pattern. You'll want to uh, make sure that that artboard is selected um, in the uh, layers panel here. You can click on the define one pattern and then just go ahead and click play. And then you'll see that pattern swatch saved here. And so if we opened up a new document, we use the 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels, 300 pixels per inch in RGB color mode, um, which is consistent with digital scrapbook paper. I'll just go ahead and click on create and we'll bring up a pattern adjustment layer. And then you can just select that pattern and then you uh, can use it as a pattern here in Photoshop. And then you can just, if you want to save this individual um, file as digital scrapbook paper, you can do so as well. And again, you do have the option if you wanted to scale it down a little bit more, you could easily um, in this uh, dialog box here. Um, but I just wanted to show you that I did include uh, that action here as well. If you wanted to quickly save one of the um, pattern options, you can do that here with the define one pattern. I will jump back over into our uh, template here. And so we uh, demonstrated this with a heart, but you can easily um, click into your smart object and change into any uh, particular object to create this fun a block style uh, repeating pattern and you can quickly create the multiple color versions um, using this template here. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to use this template, be sure to uh, check out this description. I will leave a link to where you can uh, purchase the block pattern maker. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.